Podcast Live. Karibuni! Wakuitu mwakaribishwa Hapa siyato hatuna matata We needed a community and that's where Kuti started Na tuko site Everyone, welcome to Kwitu the Union 2022. My name is Dokas Karehu, Miss Kenya Washington. Here are some of the videos that we took at Kwitu the Union and some of the leakups at Melikani TV. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is one of the best TV shows here in Washington and also in USA. Don't forget to click that button below and comment, share, and also subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. Karibu. Welcome everyone, Karibuni. This is Washington State, Kwitu, Washington chapter. We're very glad today to be hosting the Kwitu Grand Reunion 2022. And we are very happy to welcome everyone to the Evergreen State. Have fun, have a good time. Here in... <laughs> Evergreen. Washington. <laughs> Evergreen, Kuna Matata, Sisini Wana Seahawks, Kuna Matata, Sisini Wana Seahawks, Kuna Matata, Atutabu Yukabila, Kuna Matata, Atasta Box Nietu, Kuna Matata, Na Microsoft Nietu, Tuna Tatata, Na Boeing Nietu, Kuna Matata, Jumbo Jumbo, Jumbo Bona. Habari gani mzuri sana wakuitu mwakaribishwa hapa siyato hatuna matata Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here. We have the president, El President of Kwitu. Karibu San. Asante, and I'm here with my girl Mumbi. Yeah. Mumbi is one of our board members. Yeah. Also, organizer here mm -hmm. at this event. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Yes. So maybe uh, introduce to us uh, who you are, and uh, so we can move on from there. Oh, my name is Lily, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a Kwitu. I'm the Kwitu president. Um, we are at the Kwitu reunion, the sixth Kwitu reunion, grand reunion. Uh, this is 2022. Yeah. Wow, this is the final day. Today we have the gala. You, you're yeah. also the founder of Kwitu. Yes, sir. Wow. What came in your mind to think about this, bringing all the women in America uh, together? Um. <laughs> Th thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have the president, El President of Kwitu, Karibu Sana. Asante. Yeah. Introduce mm -hmm. to us uh, yourself and who you have. Oh, my name is Lily Richards, as you said, president and founder of Kwitu. And I'm here with Mumbi Mumbi. Introduce yourself. My name is Mumbi Baskin. I am a Kwitu board member in charge of uh, strategic uh, partnership and strategic uh, outreach. Uh, that's amazing. So, uh, just in a, in a, in a nutshell, uh, what's happening uh, in, in this event today? Yes, today we've brought together the biggest congregation of um, uh, Kenyan-American women in the States. It's a quick grand reunion. As you see, as this is a very conservative gathering. It's about 450 of us because of COVID. But normally we're a very big group here, you know, 800 to 1,000 and whatever. So we are here to celebrate ourselves. We're here for therapy. We're here to love on each other. And we're here to do what women do best, 
you know, dance. We like to dance. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah, and of course we talk about women issues. So that happened yesterday. We addressed, the, you know, issues that are affecting us. But today we celebrate. It's celebration. No? Yes, today we celebrate. Yesterday we cried, laughed and cried again. Leo, party. So, so and, and, and do, is the event ending today or tomorrow? <laughs> It ends technically tomorrow because it will be past midnight. It's about three o'clock in the morning, so that's tomorrow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, if what just in a nutshell uh, again, uh, like yeah. Kuitu, what what does Kuitu does like so that people yes. out here like what's your mission statement so yes. that people out here can understand yes. what is all about Kuitu? Yes, our mission is to connect, to support, and to empower ourselves. Ourselves, us. We are Kenyan women living in the states. A few of us from Canada like less than a percentage of us but most of us are here oh. yeah and, and what did you say something yes yeah, she, she, she did i'm just so excited um this is one event that we were all looking forward for it because covid came and we thank god we survived it's so exciting that we didn't even think we were going to have a group of more than 400 women gathering after covid we are grateful and this just shows the power of women wanting to connect together to empower each other and so super grateful that today we are doing the grand reunion, celebrating each other, and of course partying and having fun. Oh, that's amazing. Do, do you think uh, some, sometimes it's good uh, maybe men to involve the men in one, one night or something? Yeah, we have, uh, we have this two, today's evening event is combined, it's men combined? and women, yes. Oh, wow, I didn't it's know not that. only women. This, is, this event today, this particular session of the union is where we combine everybody. We have lots of men in there, you're here, we're happy to have you, okay? Kwitu is about peace, Kwitu is about staying together, bridging together, you know, and uniting and empowering women. Uh, how do people join Kwitu? Uh, you go online on our Facebook and request to be joined and the admin will get back to you. Oh, that, that's, that's amazing. I really th uh, thank you for your time and what you guys are doing. So we'll keep in, in touch. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. I'll be taking you some uh, few videos here and there of people, how they're enjoying the event. Uh, keep it here on Kenya Marikani and remember to subscribe as usual. So yeah. tell us a little bit, uh, how, what inspired you to start uh, Kuitu? Uh, what inspired me is my life here. The struggles I went through as an immigrant here. I came to America alone. I left my mom, my family. I was here one person. And I was placed with a family that was my fam you know, family friends from back in the day. But people cannot do for you everything. I learned really quick that I have to learn how to fend for myself, find information. For example, looking for college, you know, learn what you need to be checking, like accreditation, out of state versus in state and all these things. So that came the hard way, so pretty much, and the loneliness, because after being here for less than a month, I was already homesick. Wow. It's hard to meet people like you. Uh -huh. Like one time I was in Walmart and there was this Indian guy uh, on the phone speaking Swahili, Indian Morabuish, I don't remember. Dude, I followed this man until he hung up just to say Jambo, hi, are you from Kenya, you yeah. Tanzania? Like, the Swahili just had me following him. I'm sure he was like, what? What was this? But it's because I had, I, it was something I never experienced. We are always communal people at home. Yes. You come home, sit on your neighbor's veranda, have conversations, you know? Here, go sit on your neighbor's veranda, somebody calls 911 on you and trouble starts you know mm -hmm. so I missed that yeah. and so I we needed a community and that's where Kuti started for us to be able to find one another and have this thing mm -hmm. and we have it it's, so we are happening. always online but a day like this we are offline yeah. we get to meet in person meet our friends friends we've never met but we've been talking to online for years you know, if they make it, we're like, hey, I cannot believe it. Most of these guys are telling me, Lily, you are, you are tall in person. We thought you were short. I'm like, come on. I'm five nine, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah, so it's good to meet and have this because at the end of the day, these relationships we're building here are going to be lasting relationships. Mm. If we guys can connect as many women as we can, my job is done. 
Quito's job is done and that's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, they say a good tree does not, it, it has fruits. So yes. people, you, have, you must have people who throw stones on them. Yeah, that's... What are some yes. of the challenges you first, uh, leading these and uh, the whole fraternity of, of Quito? Well, it's, it's people not uh, are accepting that you can come out of nowhere and build something tangible. And so they want to fight you, they want to pull it down. And also men who are intimidated by women because probably they have abusive tendencies. Uh, you know, there's just that. So they will try to fight you at all costs and that has been happening. And um, just, you know, it's... Whenever you, you know you're doing something great, obviously there's opposition. Mm. So it used to be so heavy on me. Now I don't care about don't care. it anymore. I have grown. I have outgrown it. It doesn't bother me. Mm. Like for me right now, I've come to a situation where if you have problems with me and it's real and it's a real problem, go to court, sue me, and let's deal with the court. Or if you have a problem with the organization, sue the organization, let's go to court. And you know, if we have a problem with you, we're going to sue you. Same thing. Yeah. So it's, it's, it happens, but I'm, I'm, I've outgrown that nonsense, yeah. honestly. Like, it's like telling Oprah, how do you feel when people say this and this about you? Do you think Oprah sits and cares? I'm not Oprah, but yeah. I, can, I can relate because I don't care anymore. Yeah, so for people who are coming, people who are doing things and you're getting terrorized by little, little people here and there. They're admiring you. You will grow. Don't, don't worry. You'll grow out of that. It's temporary. Yeah. Just be strong. What they want is to run you out of your own town. They want you to be scared. Give up. Don't give up. Giving yeah. up, they win. That's the thing. You see, I never gave up and that's why they will never win. Yes. No matter what. I mean, they would come for my, the brand. They would come for my personal brand they would come for even attacking our own event and even having events that are trying to duplicate our event but guess what we're still here mm -hmm. strong we're still here selling out events months ahead of time and shutting people out and being like no 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 no, no more no more yeah why is that happening because hey we did not just get here it has taken us seven years Process. to get here seven good damn years i mean somebody wants to get here in a year no it's not possible you have, to, you have to follow the process. I gotta go. The national anthem is about yeah. to come up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what is that be, like uh, the most beautiful thing that has happened since you started Quito? Are you kidding? Look at me. I mean, three years, four years ago, I wasn't this person. Yeah. I've grown so much. Besides that, look at this. Look at these women. You think they don't have families, loved ones? Kids, babies, husbands, look at them, they're all here flying from all over. We have women from Australia, we have women from Canada, mm -hmm. and we have women from all over America. But yeah, look at these beautiful women over here. I mean, you're not even looking at them. Are you I, even I, looking at these women? I, 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 I have to concentrate on me. <laughs> <laughs> look at them girls. Yeah. You think they're just here by chance? No. This is the most beautiful thing, having to unite women like this and have this. What else do I have to ask for? That's all. Yes. Thank you so much. We did it. Yeah. And not just me, it's I and the people who surround me, plus the women themselves, because without them, there's no quitting. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And, uh, God bless you for the thing that you've started. And Thank you so much for forever. not giving up on me. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, that was the founder and our president of uh, Kwitu, so keep it here for more as we bring you stories, real stories, here in Hilton Hotel in Seattle. Keep it here. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Karibuni hapa tukona Kwitu, ndania uh, Seattle, Washington. Na hapa tukona nani? My name is Grace Chege from Dallas, Texas. Oh, wow, you travel all the way. I traveled all the way, and I do that every year, yes. So, uh, what, who are you in, in this uh, Kwitu? In Quito, I'm one of the directors. I'm in charge of uh, conference and resolutions. Wow. Yes. So what, what does all that entail? That what it entails is like within the organization, if there's any differences or any that are matters arising involving the members, different members or leadership, that uh, we are uh, the liaison people that come in and able to help our leader. Wow. to resolve some of the conflicts. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's amazing. And uh, so far, wow, what's happening here now? You know, guys will be watching this many times. 
and they will they always ask Kenyans are not together so just uh, elaborate a little bit what's happening here today um, what happens and this happens every year and if you are a woman from Kenya and you are not here you are missing out and this is all about women coming together women coming to empower each other women coming you know how women are in these nations we are so busy working taking care of our families this is just that one we cared in a year that you can take off to come and be with the other ladies we come together impact one another spiritually financially and even physically wow. yeah there's a lot of activities lined up for the ladies that's, fa that's fantastic and, uh, so like you had this day, uh, event for how many days now we started on Thursday nights. Thursday nights, usually the Kalibu nights. We were here, ladies come, we have a dinner together, evening together. Then we kick in on Friday. Yesterday we were here, it was an African day, whereby we had uh, various sessions of uh, uh, panels, sitting together, listening to some of our ladies, sharing their life journey. And it's amazing because uh, we come here uh, with a lot of issues probably going on. By the time you come here, you hear other women's uh, lives, whatever is going on. You are like, Lily, there's nothing else going in my life. And yeah. I love it because every time I leave the reunion, I'm, I, I usually carry something with me home. Yeah. Yes. Wow, wow. So, so this reunion normally happens at this time of the year? Yes, every first weekend of, uh, of August, mm -hmm. every year. Okay. And we usually vote, like today we'll be voting where we'll be going next year. And I'm looking forward to be in Texas. Dallas. We, uh, I hope it was, would be in Dallas, but this time we are voting Houston. Wow, wow. Yeah, so if we are here, you vote Houston, we'll be in Houston next year. Wow, wow. What, what's now, uh, what are we looking forward to now? We are looking forward to growth, build each other, uh, develop each other. And one thing I like, it's a platform that has brought women from all walks of life. There is none a lady, young, old, they come, they meet online. Most of us have met online, but when we come on th to this session, to this person. weekend, we meet in person. So you're always excited to see those names you hear online and now you are meeting face to face. So definitely COVID affected these uh, reunions. Yes, it, it affected. Yeah, it's never happened for the last two years. Mm -hmm. So it's our first time to come back after wow. COVID. No wonder we, <laughs> Yes. Um, you know women love <laughs> you know women love to look good because one thing image is everything to a woman yeah. so when women get such a chance most of the time we are not able to dress up because we may be wearing uniform to work yeah. most of the time you're not able to put makeup because the children are pulling you the husbands are pulling us yeah. so when you get such a chance just to come be with your girls yeah. we call it you a girls we, a wicked getaway yeah. and believe me I'll be there next year God willing Wow. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. We are happy to look uh, forward for uh, more uh, leaders to talk to us on yes. Kenya Marekani. Yes. Because also Kenya Marekani is about uh, empowering people. And yes. if we see uh, Kwitu are doing something good, yes. Yes. we come and uh, join them. Yes. And let's uh, preach the good news. Yeah, and that's, that's very nice. I appreciate your organization and what you do. Because we have all this negativity out there. I know there's even all this negativity about Kwitu that we, we don't build, we break. But let me tell you, I'm a testimony. If we were not building each other, I'm a Christian, I will not be here. Yeah. I'm here because I've seen life being transformed. I've seen women being impacted. Mm -hmm. You come here and listen to women journey, and you hear what has gone on, the help they have gone through the platform of Kwitu, yeah. and who else would not like to be part of this? Mm -hmm. So I'll encourage other Kenyans out there, not only women, even our men, let's yeah. gather together, let's be in unity. Mm -hmm. Yes, and especially like now we are going to elections. Yeah. But this is what he's showing. This is Kenya. We are not coming here as a tribal thing. Yeah. We are coming here as one, as a Kenyan community. Do, do you think that in the three days you normally meet, it's good to one day at least to invite men? At least to to a, to a challenge it na kuona maneno. <laughs> they can come on the Kalibu night. Yeah. yeah, because that is open. People come with their spouses. Mm -hmm. So that the night they, they can come. They may be here but most of their sessions they may not be invited in. Because at a sisi tunachipenda tunataka hiyo wakati wetu. Me time. Yes, our me time, our girls time yeah. where we can talk freely yeah. without being, you know, challenged or looked down at. Yes. Yes. Wow, that, that that's fantastic. I'm yes. happy to have spoken to you thank you and, uh, I don't know uh, what's the some of the last words you would want to tell people to know about Kwitu Kwitu is the place to be Kwitu is a body that brings women together 
Kwitu is a body that has built a lot of women, and I'll tell the Kenyan, watch out for Kwitu. They are going for it. They may be shaken sometimes, but I believe they'll uh, stand, stand the test of time. Yes. And my last word, can I say in about two days we are going for election, let's preach for peace. Because at the end of the day, me and you will be left going back to our regular work. Kenyans, do not fight, do not kill each other because of politics. Asante. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Asante. Yeah. One, two. Oh, okay. We are on. So welcome again. Uh, who do we have here? Uh, Irene Jeroge. Yes. Yes. Uh, are you excited to be here today? Very, very much excited. Yeah. I was here yesterday and I was looking forward to come here today mm -hmm. and at least fight the session going on in the red carpet. Mm -hmm. So I was looking forward. We've been waiting for it for, I think, two years because COVID happened yeah. when this was already planned. And no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, Mama Ungara. We just need an opportunity to dress up and get out. Yes, yes. yes. That's amazing. Yes, that's, that's amazing. So what are some of the benefits that uh, uh, you've, you've witnessed uh, having joined uh, Quito? Oh, Quito is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a school for me. Mm -hmm. I've learned so much. These women are so resourceful. We have like 10,000 women. And when you get 10,000, you have 10,000 blades to tap from. Yeah. So every time you have an issue, you post it on Quito. And you can post it with your identity or you can hide your identity. Post the situation you are going through or the question you have. Be it immigration, be it family, be it children, be it anything. And you get all these answers from... This group has well-educated women. Mm -hmm. We have attorneys in the group. We have uh, therapists in the group. We have counselors in the group. We have teachers in the group. We have people that work for the children department. We have people that work for every everything and everybody is here. So once you bring your issue there, they're going to address it and you're going to get your answer. Wow. And you're going to get more than you want. Yes. And then if somebody posts something, if it wasn't for you, you still learn from it. Mm -hmm. It's a resource. It's a very, very good resource. Yeah. For me, it's a real good school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, amazing. Thank you so much for yeah. stopping by. Yeah. I know it's a, it has started. I want yes. to keep you long. Yes. yes. So uh, go and enjoy your I show. I missed the national anthem already so I can do this interview. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Love you so much and love what you're doing. Asante sana. God karibu, bless karibu. you. So yeah, welcome again. Uh, who do we have here? You have Betty. I'm blessing your son on Facebook, uh -huh. but my full name is Betty Tambo. Oh wow, amazing. Where do you come from? Where? Which? I come from Dallas, Texas. So you flew all the way. I flew all the way because this is my first Quito event, and I'm just excited to be oh, here. So this is your like your this first? is my first first Quito event. How did you hear about Quito? Of course. Um, let me let me go back a little bit. Uh, 2020, when COVID hit, I sent a link to Quito. And uh, it was for free coding program for the Kenyan, uh, and they took it and it went viral. And we enrolled almost 4,000 Kenyan kids who received free coding training. So I was just like, okay, it's time to just come and say thank you, Quiru, for what you did. So we had almost 4,000 kids in Kenya enrolled for free coding program for web design, and we have at least we have four or five kids now who are working international because of that. So you never know what uh, the power of just a community yeah. brings. Yes. Wow. So I'm so excited to be here. That, that's fantastic. Yes. I, I, I'm happy I followed you <laughs> so that we can yes, hear that testimonial. I have. It was amazing to see that we could give because you know when it time you hear about coding you feel you think it's expensive but we had kids who could not and you know the internet in Kenya so kids would walk to their neighbors to go and get because it was free and they would become facilitators and now see we've empowered other young people. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank so, you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you. Thank and, you so uh, much. Yeah. God bless you. Go enjoy your show. I, I believe am. you're missing. Oh, I am. I'm going there. Thank you. Yeah, Mambo VP, Karibuni. Ndani Kenya Marekani. Who do you have here? Uh, this is Jenny Gunjiri, a veteran, U.S. Army veteran. I served for eight years. I live in Washington, the Evergreen State, and I belong to Kwitu, Kenyan women in Washington. Kenyan women in... Uh, <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Kenyan women in United States and this year we were able to host we had the privilege of hosting the Kenyan the Kwitu here in Washington Seattle and thank goodness it's sunny it's not raining for once right so we are here and we are welcoming you uh, feel free to join the Kwitu uh, we have a lot of stuff happening there we have a lot of uh, a lot of what um, mashamba ya nauzwa now I'm switching to Swahili. It's fine, it's fine. We tackle mental health. We tackle a lot of stuff. So join Kwitu and 
travel with us. So I'm really happy to be here and I joined Quito, I can't remember the year but I have been there since it was formed and I've seen it grow and I have seen the, all the progress so I'm, I'm happy. Yes. Are you looking forward for today? Dance, you have your dancing shoes? Actually, I have my dancing shoes. I do not have high heels because I cannot afford to put on high heels. I want to dance. Life is short, huh? You have to enjoy it. We have to enjoy it, yeah. You have to take that break. You got to take that break and go enjoy. If you don't take that break, then guess what? Your own body will give you a break. Your own body tells you, you know what? You need to take a break. So I told my body today, you need to go take a break. You need to go dance and you need to go meet your fellow women and help each other grow and learn from each other. That's fantastic. Yeah. We are, we are happy to have, uh, have you stopped by Kenya Marekani. And uh, that's how we appreciate one another. So uh, God bless you. I, I believe I don't want to waste any more time. Thank you. You need to be inside there enjoying. Mm -hmm. So God bless you. God bless you too. Remember to subscribe to my work, um, Kenya Marekani. That's where you find the real deal there. You are going to see the musicians, you are going to see the progress with our community. We ha you are going to learn a lot, so please hit that subscribe. Subscribe, 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 and we can all grow together. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah, it's recording now. Aya, welcome again. Uh, who do we have here? <laughs> We have Sheila Hendrick, yeah, yeah, from Kansas, <laughs> Kansas State, yeah, and uh, I'm one of the rep, uh, Kwitu rep in Kansas, mm -hmm. and I'm here to celebrate the reunion. I, it's the sixth reunion of Kwitu. Yes, absolutely yes. amazing. Yes. W when did you join Kwitu? I joined Kwitu when they started, so I've been here for six years. Yeah. Yes. Maybe, maybe describe to somebody some of the fruits you uh, witnessed having joined Kwitu. Okay, as I told you before, the fruits I've seen is the network. Knowing everyone, you know, we meet in Facebook, right. but when we have the reunion, you meet it in physically. And also we have helped so many people from outside, even in Kenya, even in uh, wherever, you know, wherever you miss them. China, anywhere, anywhere where there's a Kwitu woman. So that is how I feel like uh, we have helped so many people. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that, that's, that's fantastic. And uh -huh. as a representative uh, in Kansas, uh -huh. what are some of your duties there? Okay, my duties is to bring the Kenyan women together. We normally have like a WhatsApp where we will invite the people who are, you know, the, all the women who are from Kenya, we invite them in the WhatsApp and we, you know, we communicate. Sometimes we do the event like this, which we have one coming up after this event in Kansas. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. I, I will not keep you because you've already missed a lot. <laughs> no. I don't want to keep you anymore. <laughs> yes. So, uh, God bless you. Thank you for yes. stopping and by Kenya Marikani. I'm so happy to meet you because yes. I've seen you in YouTube many times. I've listened to your stories and God is good Amen. because today I meet you. Amen. Amen. Yes. God is good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Enjoy your day. All right. Asante you sana. too. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm um, I'm from Washington State. Leo ilikuwa one of you know uh, one of those days. To make one quick reunion since Thursday we had Caribou night. Yesterday we went to Rumba Notes. Na Leo to a gala night. So today to me fanya red carpet. We're having dinner here, and everything is going well. So maze kama hauko hapa si juko api umehata umehata next year to go Houston. Make sure see heart ever say we are having fun. All the ladies are looking beautiful. I mean, look at me. <laughs> yeah, and um, subscribe from Kenya Marekani. Sawa. Bye. Na <laughs> to Okay, my name is Miriam Miner. I come from Seattle, Washington. We are the host of Quito uh, this year, 2022, and we are so grateful to host all the beautiful women from all over the United States. And we say Karibu Sana to the evergreen state. And we are the host of the Microsoft. We have we are the we are the headquarters of Starbucks. We are the headquarters of Boeing, and it's a beautiful state. And we say Karibu. 
and we are so excited on this day and uh, see, seeing all these beautiful women come together to be empowered, to be uplifted, to be encouraged. We just say thank you to God. Yay! I'm Jamboni, naitwa Grace Ngere. Na tuko hapa kwitu reunion 2022. We are so glad. We got lucky, we won, and yay, we are hosting it. Uh, so kwitu in uh, short, it empowers women all over uh, America. Kenyan women in America and uh, it has done wonders and a lot of things for women in America um, from a lot of things, a lot of things. So if you're a Kenyan in America and you're not in Kwitu, talk to our president Lily and you'll see the, all the good things. So woman empowerment is Yay. our motto. Yay! Hi guys, my name is Anne Duati. I'm a president and founder of African Singles Living in America, LLC. This is a dating company, a unique one for our own Africans. And I'm a member of Quitu. Since 2015, I've been really excited to be one of the members. I started in uh, uh, Texas and now I'm here in Washington. I've really seen a lot of things. I've seen women grow together because this is a, a women empowerment uh, uh, organization. We have been really helping each other in so many things. We talk about anything, we encourage about any, uh, we encourage each other about anything. And uh, despite the challenges that have been there, we have seen it grow. And we really appreciate our president, uh, Madam President Lily. She has really gone through a lot, but we have been together with her, we have encouraged her, we have motivated her. And if you're a woman in America and you're not a member of Kwitu, please join. Kwitu stands for Kenyan Women Living in United States. So it's Wamama, Wanguvu, and we enjoy it. So thanks even from Kenya Marekani for this chance, and we appreciate you guys. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alilian Dollahide, and um, I'm a member of Quito. I'm one of the pioneers of Quito since 20, 2015, right? Yes, it was 2015. Uh, I love Quito, Kenyan women in the United States. I love it. And we get to learn a lot of things, and coming together as women is very powerful. Women, we are empowerment and we are movement. I have learned a lot in Quito. I have met a lot of ladies in Quito. Uh, and we, we bought lands and um, so, many, so much information, IT and all that. It's all for information. Myself, um, I live in Texas, Dallas, Texas. And um, I'm a minister of the gospel. And I have a page called Down on My Knees by Lillian Dollarhide. Uh, I have a hair... Uh, I sell hair too, it's Dollar Hide Hair Solution. So you can get me on social media and all the social media platform. Uh, thank you. If you have not joined Kwitu, come on, Karibu ni Kwitu Mapesa. Ni hapandani ayo oye. Ala, sawa. Sawa. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Alice. And I'm Lucy Ndongo. Yeah, we are here at uh, Hilton, uh, Sierra. Uh, we came for Quiru, uh, Washington 2022. And we are really happy to be here. We are having a good time. We are really enjoying. And I'm so excited to see all beautiful women. They are all dressed. And you know, when women get together, great things happen. Do happen, yeah, exactly. Yes, and we empower uh, each other in so many different ways. There are so many rights to be bought, so many good clothes, so many, a lot of activities going on. And I hope it will be greater and greater as it goes on. Yeah, and we thank God for today. And uh, in, inside there, a lot of good things are happening. And uh, Raffles has been played. And who knows? Kuna mtu atenda na Mercedes Benz, Leo. Yeah, na Shamba, Nini, we will do a lot of activities. And also, we look forward for the next quit. Yes. 2023. We are looking forward for that. Yes. Yeah. God Thank bless you. you. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Margaret Arno and I'm from Quito, Seattle, Washington. I'm representing Seattle. We are hosting you. Welcome from all over the country. You are welcome here in Seattle. When you come here, you are home. 
feel free and enjoy. Hi, my name is Betty Nzuve or Betty Katumbi as known in uh, Kwitu. How, uh, I'm in Kwitu, Washington, Kwitu, Maine, and we are the host of the Grand Un uh, Reunion. So we welcome you all to Kwitu, where we serve everything hot. Washington, the Evergreen State, is where we are doing it live. Karibuni!